All right, you can see it's pretty much lights out manufacturing here at South High. We've got one CNC on, and we're going to cut an example fidget spinner, which will be the South High symbol, the S. We go over here, we're going to see our CAD image, which is our S. It's going to get a variety of operations here, a pocket, a drill, a tap, and then a contour. So before we do this, we're going to first have to post-process this, which will give us all our G-code. Now, do we want to type all this in? No, that's what the CAM software is for in the program. So our offset right here is G154P5. So we're going to go over to our CNC, set this up to cut. This is the fast track version here. We'll explain more in great detail later. So if we look here, we've got G154P5. I've got my x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Right now I've got my Hymer probe set at zero, zero, zero. And this is the center of our part and the height of this quarter inch antelon. It is gonna drill and tap into this three quarter substrate to hold our part. Otherwise, how do you cut a part out like this without holding it? It'll go flying. The tool is gonna be spinning at 5,000 RPM. So let's go back. First, we have to enter this number, negative, point, 2.0976. All right, so we've got that number now. We double check it, same number, perfect. Now we're gonna go over to our, this is a fast track. I'm just going to hit part zero here, which we can barely see, part zero. And here we go, part zero, part zero. Now that is the center of our part. So we're going to come up. I'm going to handle jog this away. And we're going to take this tool out. Put it back. And we are going to next cut our part. That will be the second part of the video. So we're going to go back over. Send this file over to our mill. All right, so we've got South Fidget Spinner. I'm going to go to my desktop, mill two. I'm going to save it right there. If we come back, it exported it over to the machine. Let's go find it. List program. South High Fidget Spinner, M00, 22 millimeter. That's our bearing diameter. I'm gonna select that, hit memory. And let's watch the CNC go to work. Now, if we shut the coolant off, you'll be able to see this a little better as it draws into the material. I'm going to start cutting. You can see the material disappearing. I'm going to keep the coolant on. I'm going to set the feed rate up. Continue with the second operation in the second video.